Welcome to German History with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And in this video, I'm speaking about the most infamous German judge during the times of the Second World War, Roland Freisler. Karl Roland Freisler was born on October 30th, 1893, in Zelle. After he finished school in the year 1912, he attended law school, but was interrupted by the outbreak of the First World War. Freisler reported to duty in 1914. As a lieutenant, equivalent to the second lieutenant, he received both classes of the Iron Cross. The following year, while serving on the Eastern Theater, he became a Russian prisoner of war, where he experienced the end of the war near Moscow. Although all the prisoners of war had been released in 1918, Roland Freisler stayed in Soviet Russia for nearly two more years, in which time he became a convinced Bolsheviki. In the year 1919, Roland Freisler returned to Germany and finished law school. He joined the Nazi party in the year 1925 and used his legal skills to defend fellow Nazi members in court. Roland Freisler was also elected into the Prussian Landtag as well as the Reichstag. When the Nazis took over power in the year 1933, Roland Freisler became the Prussian Minister of Justice as well as the Secretary of the Reich Ministry of Justice. This position he held until the year 1942 when he became the President of the Volksgerichtshof or the People's Court. This was the highest position Roland Freisler held in the Nazi Reich. Although he was an extremely loyal and convinced National Socialist, Adolf Hitler was never a big fan of the judge, partially because the German dictator didn't like lawyers in the first place, and of course of, because of his past in Soviet Russia. And last but not least, Oswald Freisler, Roland Freisler's brother, was also a lawyer but he defended accused against the Nazi regime in the Third Reich. Before Roland Freisler took over the Volksgerichtshof, he attended the Wannsee Conference in early 1942, where the final solution for the destruction of European Jewry was planned. During his time as the president of the Volksgerichtshof, he became one of the most feared judges. As a matter of fact, he got the nickname, the Blood Judge. He sentenced over 2,600 human beings to death in his three years. As a judge, he was known to be very political. He personally humiliated defendants and insulted them. Roland Freisler sentenced members of the resistance group White Rose, like Hans and Sophie Scholl, as well as the July 20th plotters, whom had been kicked out of the Wehrmacht specifically so they could have been sentenced in the Volksgerichtshof. The trial against the plotters uh, was recorded with the plan of publishing it and broadcasting it in the Third Reich, but Roland Freisler acted so inappropriate as a judge that even propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels dismissed this idea. Roland Freisler died on February 3rd 1945, during a U.S. air raid. He either died while gathering, gathering uh, files of defendants being crushed by a beam or bled to death due to a bomb trip now while he was on the way to an air raid shelter. Thank you so much for watching.